Hey, this writing assignment is going to ask you to defend a statement. Here it is right here. I'll jump right into it. It says, despite the pearl buyer's collusion and subterfuge, and despite the main character's lack of knowledge, Kino and Juana's pearl is highly valuable. And we spent a lot of time in the text looking for um, some of the pearl buyer's illusions and their collusions and just the nonsense that they've been spewing about the valuelessness of Kino's pearl. But if you can see through all that nonsense, um, you realize that um, Kino's pearl, Kino and Juana's pearl is exactly what you thought it was when they pulled it out of the ocean, highly valuable. It's a rare commodity. And um, the pearl buyers are trying to take advantage of Kino. So if you can read between the lines and you can see between the subterfuge, you realize, yeah, Kino is uh, being cheated in the pearl buyer's office. So uh, we jumped right in. The directions say this, that you need to use three pieces of text evidence as support and defend the statement below in a paragraph. And the paragraph is going to occur here on page two. So, you know, the form is set up for you. It's just a matter of balancing between your writing and also the active reading experience that, that we worked on so hard for several days. So you can see here's some of the active reading in this document. Are you gonna be balancing these two documents here in order to complete this piece of writing? Because of course, this is where the evidence is and this is where your writing is going to be. So, so you need them both. And if you are um, on paper, then you're on paper. You'll be doing more typing than the people who are fully remote or working electronically. They can do some more copying and, and pasting from time to time. So, so this is the biggie right here. Here's the statement. It comes along with a couple def definitions as well. Definition for collusion, which is up here, and subterfuge, which is up here and it almost feels like the very top the beginning part of this statement is is subterfuge in some way because the most important thing is the thing i didn't highlight which is kino and Juana's pearl is highly valuable so you need evidence from that the packet pages in order to support that and then ultimately you know what are you going to demonstrate in this writing you're going to demonstrate that you can present some text evidence and moreover, that you can lead into it, put it in context, let us know whose words you're borrowing, cite what page it came from, and then explain how or why that yellow stuff, that text evidence, supports this statement right here. Particularly, this part of the statement right here, that Kino and Juana's Pearl is highly valuable. So uh, the rubric is down below. We can talk more about that down the road, but. I thought that we would just jump right in. I'll show you what it looks like when you're just gonna just jump right in because we have spent a lot of time with this text and I think many of you are just ready to on your market set kind of go. I just copied, I don't know if you heard that. I copied that statement. This is the statement to defend, which means that it's gonna be your topic sentence. The only thing that's missing is um, the author in the title. So something along the lines of uh, in I'm looking at the book right now so I can spell his name correctly. And John Steinbeck's The Pearl. It's, even though it's a short novel, it's a novella, it's still a full length work and it deserves to be underlined. So, you know, I can add this stuff later, the title and the MLA header, but I'm interested in the writing for right now because I mean, we're just jumping right in. And John Steinbeck's The Pearl, despite the pearl buyer's collusion and subterfuge, and despite the main character's lack of knowledge, Kino and Juana's pearl is highly valuable. And um, if you knew what you were going to use, like if you knew what your best three pieces of text evidence were, you're, you're probably like ready to jump right in. Let's do it. So I'm going to use a piece that you can't use, and it's not a very popular piece of evidence. Uh, and I'm going to do my best with it. And it, you may find me struggling with it because it's it's just not the best piece of text evidence. And it's this one right here. It's uh, <laughs> pearl buyers like you know, 
what can I do for you? Good morning, Kino. He doesn't know Kino. He says, my friend. And Kino says, well, here's what you can do. I have a pearl. And his brother, Juan Tomas, snorts a little at the understatement. Like, Kino's pearl is more than just a pearl. It's not, <laughs> not just some regular pearl that pearl buyers see on a daily basis. And the thing that's important to me and goes along with this idea that there's in a, a procession, like something along the lines of a parade of people have come to watch Kino sell his and Juana's pearls. So, you know, this is an historic day. It's so historic that there's, there's nowhere to, to like stand. It's standing room only. So much so that a line of little boys clamored on the bars and windows to look through and that some little boys, several of them, in fact, get down on their hands and knees and are watching the scene around Kino's legs. So what does this say? To me, it says that, you know, in this historic moment, everybody knows exactly what Kino's pearl is, highly, highly valuable. And they've come along to see the show. How much is Kino and Wana gonna get? So I don't know how much of this I'm gonna borrow, but I'm gonna work on writing a lead in up until, I might end up borrowing like this much. I'm just gonna copy it for right now, just in case I, I wanna use it. You know, if you're on paper, you're probably gonna end up writing it yourself from the packet, but it'll only take you another minute. Uh, what do I need? You know, I gotta transition into, is that right? Let's see. Yeah, I need transition, lead in, attributive tag, text evidence. I need to cite the text evidence and then I need to explain how or why by leading out, explaining how it supports the idea that Kino and Wano's Pearl is highly valuable. So uh, transition, I'm just starting out. So this is a pretty popular one for starters. And when is a great like lead in starter word. So like when this happens, Steinbeck tells readers. So when, when Kino first enters the pearl, and this is singular, it's the one buyer's office. When he first enters the pearl buyer's office, and states his business. I have a pearl, he says. Um, readers notice that there's very little space to watch this historic moment. A whole parade of people have come along with Kino and Juana to maybe just so they can say they were there. They were there on such a momentous day. It's history. It's going to be history. In this little town. The, the pearl buyers that's a lot of lead in, I know, but the, I can always fix it the second time around if I'm unhappy with it. But the Pearl Buyers office is so crowded that Steinbeck notes, and here's here's the piece I'm gonna borrow. These are these are Steinbeck's words. No, unhighlight it. it doesn't need to be highlighted unfortunately i think it's a different size font 
which I think it is. I'm gonna make this 12, it's supposed to be 12. The Pearl Buyer's office is so crowded with onlookers that Steinbeck notes that, quote, several little boys on their hands and knees watch the scene around Kino's legs. What page is that on? I need the citation is next. Looks like it's on page 48. Need to lead out. Well, so far, here's what I have. Here's my transition with the accompanying comma. When Kino Force enter the, enters the pearl buyer's office and states his business, readers notice there's very little space to watch this historic moment. A whole parade of people have come along with Kino and Juana just so that they can say they were there on such a momentous day. It's going to be history in this little town. Yeah, it's an okay lead in. The Pearl Buyer's office is so crowded with onlookers that Steinbeck Steinbeck notes that um, there's my attributive tag. These are whose words they are. And then the this piece. I got, I have too much. I, you know, right now I feel like I have too much lead lead in. I could have used some of this in my lead out. Let's see if I can fix it right now. A whole parade of people have come along with Kino and Juana. And the pro buyer's office is so crowded with, all right, that's better for now. <clears throat> I'm gonna just put some of the, that stuff that I cut out of there. I may end up using it again, but let's see, this is my lead out. The pro buyer's office is standing room only because Everyone in Kino's part of town knows this is going to be a momentous day that will go down in history. The reason is because of Kino and Juana's pearl. It's a pearl such as none has seen before. They all know Kino and Juana about to be rich. And they want to to be there to witness the occasion. <laughs> I'm getting to the idea that you know it's highly valuable. Juana and Kino are about to be rich and and people want to see it. I don't know how good this lead out is on the first try. It's okay. My initial thought is, it, you know, it's it's okay. It's pretty good so far. Um, but of course, this is just my first stab at it, so to speak. And when you think like, well, you know, how long did that take? I don't know. I wouldn't call myself a professional, but I've been doing this job for a while. And that's just one piece of text evidence. How long did it take? I don't know, in a 30 minute class, you could probably do two of them, I would think, like a rough draft of two of them, two pieces of text evidence. But, and then that's the job, here it is right here, using three pieces of text evidence as support.
this is a topic sentence and one piece of text evidence. And this video is getting long because writing takes a long time and good writing takes even longer. So that's gonna be your job. It's one paragraph. As you transition into your second piece of text evidence, you'll notice that uh, I'm not making a new paragraph. This is simply the same paragraph. We're just transitioning into a second piece of text evidence. This video is definitely getting super long. Uh, I hope at least you learned something from the example and let's jump in. Let's get to work.